Wildlife just got a new home in the South Bay. Restored wetlands near Menlo Park mean shorebirds and other wildlife will have a place to live this winter. As Crown Force Craig Sklar shows us, the multi-million dollar restoration project was years in the making. Behind me, you can see a changed landscape. This is a body of water that was once dried lands, but this project has restored it back to wetland status. Over here, you can see one of several viewing platforms that's been set up for the public to learn more about the wetlands and what it means to the environment. This is the lifeblood of the wetlands. As you can see here, water is coming in from the bay underneath these bridges. There's a couple of points where it does this. It's done based on the tides, and the water comes in and out, flushing the area and keeping it vital. The 237-acre site lay dry for decades, used as a source of salt harvesting until the federal government bought it for $100 million. After five years, the project is finished, including those islands you see out there designed for bird nesting. This picture shows how dry things were when the work began five years ago and how it looks now, flush with bay water, a new habitat, part of a larger project restoring wetlands all around the bay. So what we're doing is we're building certain ponds, like this one here, specifically designed to maximize the wildlife benefits to those species. Come October, this area will be teaming with shorebirds for the first time in many years. In Menlo Park, Greg Sklar, Cron 4 News.